As a reference point for making the stick dulcimer, I've chosen the fiddle neck as the example that I would wish to follow. Um, you can choose the diameter depending on your plane preference. Uh, the plans allow for up to 27 millimeters wide. Uh, a fiddle generally is about 24 at the top, and you may decide if you if you can get hold of a fiddle, you can have a feel and see which feels right to you. A piece of wood I've chosen to use is um, American cherry. Uh, I've, pre I've planed it to t uh, just under an inch. And the fingerboard material is going to be Power Rosa, which I've, I bought from a wood turning place about 20 years ago and I, I cut up into four millimeter pieces. Um, to trim off the excess fingerboard, we will use the neck blank as a, as a, as a mold. And then use our pen to mark along here. We will then saw off the wastage. I've attached double sided tape to the fingerboards and I'm now going to stick them to the neck blank and we're going to put them through the thickness of together so that the both the fingerboard and the neck are the same width. Um, there is a disadvantage to this. Sometimes some rosewoods and some uh, fingerboard materials are quite brittle and they can splinter uh, so you really need to have, have a look I know that this material should be fine for, for the thickness of it's straight grain, um, it's quite fine textured and it should go through. Okay, fine. so we've just attached these fingerboards with double sided tape to this blank here. And now we're going to put them through our thickener, which is a Mafal AD160, which thicknesses up to 6 inch wide and 4 inches thick. Okay, and now we have the fingerboard flush with the neck. So what we have to do is take off the fingerboards. There we are.